In Strictly Business this week, we have a very young lady who, in her quest for healthy alternatives out in the market, she developed her own line of healthy spreads that has caught the fancy of many health buffs out there. Max Kwa graduated from Ateneo de Manila University with a degree in Communications Technology. She worked briefly in a stock brokerage before the entrepreneurial bug bit her. I started to work full-time for Made by Max just last year, in the last quarter. But that is going ahead of the story. Like many young people, Max loved munching on unhealthy chips, but she also knew that this was not doing her body any good. Basically, this is a young lady who also has a passion for the healthy and natural. I've always had this passion for health and for organic and natural food items and then I was getting into fitness so I was trying to search for healthier alternatives to gaining weight the proper way or like losing fat the proper way and then I was looking for foodstuffs on the grocery supermarkets and I couldn't find the perfect mix of affordability and high quality items so I decided to experiment on my own and I came up with my nut butters, an alternative to peanut butter since peanut butters in the market are usually filled with artificial sugars or refined oils. Mine goes for no refined oils or refined sugars and just deliver the highest quality of ingredients and um, the highest concentration of nuts. It took a lot of experimentation, a lot of kitchen experiments, a lot of taste testing because it's one thing to be able to offer a healthy product. Max found that nuts are the healthier alternative to chips, which if you don't watch it can be quite addictive. And it so happens that Max is also very fond of spreads. When I came to spreads, I wanted to experiment. And then actually for the first part, I tried several brands in the market, but soon enough it became, it started to burn a hole in my pocket because I was running through a jar for like two weeks. Every two weeks, I would finish an entire jar of almond butter and it was starting to burn a hole in my pocket. So I started to experiment and make my own. And it was fun actually because I got to control what I wanted in it and what I didn't want to be part of it. Like I could do away with all the refined oils and refined sugars, but I could include more health benefits and more local items like for me, the real challenge was it's always easy to go down the healthy route. It's really easy to look up healthy stuff, but to make it appetizing, to make it appeal to the market is a real challenge. So that's where the taste testing came in and I had to have family members taste them because most of my family members would be not so much into the health thing. So when they tried it and passed their taste buds, then I knew I had something from a potential. With a potentially successful product in the making, the challenge for Max was how to make it more tasty, more exciting, unlike many other health products available in the market. She also knew that she had to remain within the healthy limits for her product, eliminating refined sugar and other such ingredients without sacrificing the taste. Mm, I think I have our local coconut farmers to thank for that. Yeah. Coconut sugar was the perfect solution to being able to make my spreads tastier because it gave that it was able to deliver the sweet flavor, that sweet flavor profile without causing blood sugar spikes, which most people are now more wary of. More we have more di diabetics now and then more people are conscious of their sugar intake. So yeah. That was one of the very key important help. It took maybe a month of trial and error. The thing with experimenting, no, you get your hopes up in the conceptual stage and then when you get it done and then when it doesn't pass, you lose hope for a while. But then, good thing is, parang, as long as you never give up and you have that vision, naman eh, you'll get there eventually. Parang you just, I kept trying for, let's say, a week, I would have three experiments. And then I would be able to um, 
fix the certain ratios and then by the end of maybe after a month yeah i got it done. It is interesting to know that Max is a stranger to the kitchen. She claims that she has no other cooking skills other than her nut butter spreads. Oddly enough, this is the only skill I have in the kitchen to make nut butter spreads, yes. Yes, this is the only skill I have in the kitchen. I am hopeless in baking. Cakes turn into cookies and cookies turn into cakes. And under my hands, spread. this is the only thing I can be proud of. Spreads, uh oh. It's like it was made for me. Max took the development of her product literally step by step. From the experiments in the kitchen, to the numerous taste tests with family and friends, to the packaging and label which she had to change twice before settling on this present one. It's so easy to get caught up in the process and be such a perfectionist that you end up delaying so much but then you have to remind yourself that it's better to just launch it and learn along the way. So that's what happened you like let's say for packaging I had to this wasn't the first packaging before it was in a plastic container with like a strip lang na label and then eventually I got feedback I started to conceptualize more and I drew up more illustrations. Yun. Tapos, the first venue was in a bazaar. That's where I got the most raw feedback. Because people were... That time, it was the cookie butter trays. So people were more familiar with a sweet treat. And they weren't expecting uh, almonds and cashews could be made into a nut butter spread. They kept giving me feedback like, oh, How come it's not as um, buttery? Does it have butter? Does it have dairy? And I, and I had to keep... Parang explaining that it's a spin-off of peanut butter and spread and it's a healthier alternative. You know. And after that, the big break was social media. Talaga. Food bloggers are more open to new trends so that when they tried it out and they discovered this new spread, I guess they liked it. And then when they wrote about it, more people got word and started inquiring. Her first bazaar was a small one, a village bazaar where she brought along a few jars of her nut butter spreads. She did get feedbacks, but from this first experience, she learned that choosing the bazaar where you will sell your products is really a vital decision for your marketing strategy. Choosing bazaars is just as important as like, it's like choosing the proper marketing outlet. So the next bazaar I joined was the Ultimate Taste Test. Um, it's from Awesome Planets uh, organization, yeah. That one was way better because they were foodies and they were more familiar with what I was doing. And they were more open and they experimented. And that's when I discovered that huh, foodies can be healthy too. And there are many foodies that, oh, I'm, I've been looking for a spread that, that has your qualities. And apparently, and so many people agree with me that there's no spread yet like mine that is that stringent with quality and with processed ingredients and authenticity. Max's nut butter spreads now has a cacao flavor, among others. She sources her cacao from no less than the Philippines' best, Malagos chocolate. I think it was really lucky. It was serendipitous, to say the least, because at that time, I was trying to look for ingredients. I went to an expo, the World Food Expo, I think, and it was closing hours already. And I forced myself to still run through the aisles and look for certain suppliers. I was trying to look for cacao, but I didn't know what kind of cacao and in what form. And I happened upon Malagos' store that I think they were starting also back then. And then I was, and then I saw cacao nibs, and I said, um, can I try this one? And he said, sure, and he offered. And later on, we started conversing through email. They were very understanding and very accommodating with my questions and inquiries. So it helped a lot in making me more knowledgeable about my ingredients and appreciating the quality. And I think from there, it started to blossom into a really fruitful business relationship. We help each other all the time and I'm very proud to see where they are now and they really deserve it because they also deserve, they also deliver high quality products. 
She now has four flavors, all using almonds and cashew. For her almond butter, she has the cinnamon vanilla flavor and extra dark cacao. For her cashew butter, she has the vanilla chai and the crunchy cacao. Max knows she is lucky that she is starting out her business in this age of social media when word gets around so much faster. In this day and age, it's so lucky to have social media to help spread the word. And then I think I came at the right time when the health movement is starting to gain ground and people are more aware of the choices they're making and choosing what to eat and help making healthier choices. They're more aware and they don't easily give in to the marketing marketing lingo and whatever big retailers deliver to them. They are willing to do the work, do the research and find out for themselves. And I think it also helps that people are more willing to try and are more adventurous and people appreciate high quality and healthier items now. For her initial investment into this business, Max says she had to shell out between 25 to 30,000 pesos only for the ingredients alone. She proudly says that she did not compromise on her equipment. It took her a year before her business could get off. But on the second half of 2014, she had already started supplying a major retailer. She was kept awake and busy for the most part of this time, staying up until about 2 a.m. while seeing to her production. Then she had to shift gears to focus on marketing and sales. Demand was slowly increasing, so she also had to add to her equipment. I had to keep focusing on production, working till 1 to 2 a.m. And then 1 to 2 a.m. and then I would shift gears towards sales and try to look for more clients and then at the same time try to keep up social media with marketing and then trying to balance also now oh, um, gathering the raw feedback from the initial sales into third maybe delivering a better product like a better look for the product like a made by max 2.0 so to speak and then after that year, the next year, I started to invest in, okay, I need another person now to do operations. Yeah, so I could focus more on marketing and sales. Yeah. So on the second year, I started investing in equipment and in manpower. Max keeps her team lean and efficient. With just four people under her, she now makes between 500 to 600 bottles. Though on some occasions, she makes up to 800 bottles a month. Our dire traffic conditions are quite a challenge to her delivery schedules, but then she has to make the best of the situation. They're available in Echo Store. Um, they have stores in Serendra, Makati, and Podium. We are available in Blue Kitchen. They have stores in Rockwell, Magnolia, and Shangri-La Plaza. Green Company, which is available also in... Um, they're located in Banawe, Pasig. Banawe and Pasig, yes. And then Real Food in Alabang. And then there's Mercado Supermarket. It's in Uptown Center, UP Town Center, near Katipunan. And then we're trying to go into major supermarkets now. That's the next target. I, I was the one who contacted Echo Store because I knew they were very well known for offering local and artisan items to the market. So I, I looked for them. And then several other stores, they were the ones who looked for me. Mm -hmm. It helped a lot that social media. When I asked them how they knew about me, it was all about social media. Made by Max, nut butter spreads have been in the market for three years now, and the demand is steadily increasing. Lucky for her, it was not a huge problem to penetrate the market either. I think it's a question of not just me being ready for the market, but if the market is ready for me as well. Like if they're already familiar with the concept of nut butters, like not just peanut butter, and I think well, I'd like to think I'm coming in at the right time because after the cookie butter craze, I think people are now looking into, people are now making healthier choices but are willing to indulge. Mm -hmm. And I think 
the recent boom in local markets with Nutella, the obsession over Nutella, will help me also in familiarizing people that, oh, hey, there's an alternative to peanut butter. There's also almond butter and cashew butter, especially for people with peanut allergies. So yeah, I think it's the right time since the health trend doesn't show any signs of slowing. People now, says Max, read product labels and do their own research on their own food requirements so that by the time they get to her, these people already know what to look for, what questions to ask. So I want to let them know that I'm just as much of a health and fitness Nazi as them, as very strict and very much into labels. So there, it feels nice actually to be able to talk to these clients. It's a real privilege to be able to converse with them and know what they want and to have that feeling that you are able to deliver what they are looking for. For one so young, one can consider Max as among the lucky ones who did not have to go through so many trials and did not have to wait so long for success to come knocking on her door. We ask her what advice to give the other young people who want to venture into their own business. I think the number one trait for an entrepreneur is you never stop learning. So it's it's flattering to be able to think that I can give advice to entrepreneurs, but it's really never stop learning and never stop literally. Because I remember I read once that startups don't fail. They only stop. So as long as you never stop doing what you're doing and trying to improve, you will never fail. You just keep doing and persevering until you reach that goal and then that's when you can call yourself a success but it's always it's a never-ending process and if you want to check out made by max products yourself here's how yeah, you can get your made by max nut butters it's nut butters made better without refined oils or refined sugars at echo store the green company blue kitchen Real Food in Alabang and Mercado Supermarket. You can also hit us up on Facebook under Made by Max PH or on Instagram with the same login name. Thank you. Those look like very yummy products aside from being certified healthy. Check out those nut butter spreads yourself from Made by Max.